A lot of people start off and they're like, I just came out and I was born to sing and I think that's beautiful. I wish that was me. <laughs> that was not me. My name is Emily Grove. I'm a teacher here at Lake House, um, as well as a singer-songwriter uh, with Emily Grove, and um, uh, as well as Amarna Yoni in uh, Daughter Vision. I, uh, I was bullied as a kid. And so when I, I was about 11 years old is, you know, when I switched schools and I just decided to take some voice lessons to gain my own voice back, get a cool hobby because I like to sing in the car. Who knew that I really would like it and just do it forever. Yes, I may have hurt you, but I did not desert you. Maybe I just want to have it all. I was in a school musical and I got a call and they're like, hey, uh, are you free Tuesday? Are like, you free for the whole week because uh, they need extras for SNL? And we were like, yeah, I'll be whatever you want me to be. Like, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, And then, um, you know, I just got to work with, you know, Natalie Portman in a skit called Sheldon's Bar Mitzvah and, and the girl next to the, uh, the uh, jello shots, like the virgin jello shots. And uh, <laughs> so you could see me in the thing. It's really funny. But, uh, you know, and then I got Darren Aronofsky maybe a year or two after. Darren Aronofsky at that time wrote Pie and um, Requiem for a Dream. Wake up and this nightmare's gonna fade away. But like, I played all the time. So I was always like, if I wasn't doing a session, I was doing my own stuff. I was playing all over the place. Um, probably, uh, you know, at, at some point, Glenn Burtnick saw one of my, you know, one of my music videos of me singing opera and was just like, hey, do you want to be a part of my project? We're doing a Beatles show. Can you do some backup? And then so I'm working with him, and then I'm just doing some incredible things with him, doing Summer of Love. Thank you. I need all the help I can get, so I hope y'all are going to sing a song with me. Everybody knows it. Glenn Burtnick is the MD for the NJ Hall of Fame. If there's a, an artist, you know, like a musician that they're, that they're celebrating, they'll have like either the artist or maybe a friend of the artist or you know, one of us come up and, and, uh, and perform a song and, uh, you know, in front of them. So it's like very scary. But uh, so, <laughs> so he, asked, he asked me and my friend Reagan Richards to sing Rapture in front of Debbie Harry. You know, I always like, I love teaching and I love seeing someone's aha moment. So for me, I just felt like I would love to teach. I would love to see, you know, that, see that face when, the, when somebody goes, that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh my gosh. And then see them grow. And it was just so fun. And John's been so nice to me and I've just been lucky to work here. 